whole start. I hope it keeps going for a couple of days. The glass talk on the couch presentation that we've got for you today um, involves the heads or senior uh, people from each of the main key painting industry related trade associations. We have here uh, Mr. Ian Chisholm, who is the Deputy Chief Executive of the Glass and Glazing Federation. Mr. Richard Lambert, who is the Chief Executive of the British Woodworking Federation. We have Martin Orthorpe, who is representing the British Plastics Federation today, the Windows Group specifically. And Mr. Justin Ratcliffe, who is the Chief Executive of the Council for Aluminium in Buildings. So, first and foremost, let me thank you for uh, coming along today. Um, and agreeing to spend time with us here asking questions. Uh, the principle, what I want to find out today, what I want to discuss with these gentlemen is, is the relevance of trade associations today in, in industry generally, as we're in the 21st century, but of course the, gla the glazing um, industry specifically. Um, what I would do is I would ask each of these gentlemen to uh, tell us a little bit about their uh, organisation first. Um, no particular order. I think Martin will stick with you. We'll start with you, so stick with you, Martin, as you have the mic. Um, tell us, what is the British Plastics Federation Windows Group? What does it do? I am, um, I'll just sort of talk about my I'm uh, the chairman of the, the Windows Group, I'm obviously a full time officer of the British Plastics Federation. Um, the Windows Group <coughs> was uh, started in uh, 1980. Primarily because uh, there was a lot of standards and um, regulation coming to uh, the part of the industry. Um, it's been successful in working with um, actually other federations uh, as well as uh, its members and developing standards um, and also progressing uh, the cause of the PBC in terms of uh, its environmental uh, credentials. Um, I guess one of the most notable pieces of work is in conjunction with the BRE and the Green Party. Uh, where we sort of managed to move uh, the, uh, the, the factual uh, performance of PVC from a, a perceived poor performance into a, uh, an A and A plus uh, rating for the good buyer. Um, going into the future, and especially sort of in the immediate, um, the immediate short term, obviously the uh, changes to the, <coughs> to the building, <coughs> building regulations, the ADs that are coming up, um, have, uh, have generated a fair bit of work within the organisation. The organisation has uh, a technical committee, which is known as the Windows and Doors Committee, and also a marketing committee. And the marketing committee is uh, headed up by Dr. John Skin, uh, who you probably know uh, most people will know. Um, and that group is a very good since the uh, BBC Wave in the uh, which was originally started by uh, the guys from Vic uh, and uh, Go Fox 22. So the, the, the organisation represents most of the systems companies. Um, it also represents fabricators, materials, active suppliers. Um, it's been doing very much over the past, making sure that everything was uh, done in the correct and uh, appropriate manner, um, and it will continue to do so in the future. Thank you. Uh, Justin, CAB, Tennessee Council, one of the new building, please. Thank you, Paul. Uh, first of all, can I just say thank you very much indeed for the invitation this morning. Um, I think it's, it's quite a, an interesting opportunity to sit down because I think the perception um, of trade associations and the reality of the trade associations is very different from the perception. Um, just picking up on the point Martin made before I said anything about CAP, um, at sector level, we do actually do an awful lot of work together. Uh, that may surprise a lot of people in the audience, uh, but one of the most successful things that uh, virtually everybody around us uh, on the CAP is involved in is the recent uh, joint trade standard. Uh, and that was where the trade associations put individual differences aside and actually work together for the benefit of the sector, the architect, the specifier and everything else. So rather than having four uh, joint windows trade standards, you actually had one for the benefit of the, of the sector. So I think that's a point worth, uh, worth making. CAB um, was formed in 1994. It was the amalgamation, as some of you may remember, of three quite old trade associations. Uh, the Paper Glazing Contractors Association, the Aluminium Architectural Association and the Aluminium Windows Association. We're basically uh, 120 strong aluminium in building supply chain. Uh, we have systems companies, fabricators, 
hardware companies, powder coaters, and all the other uh, constituent suppliers. Uh, I'll have to include machinery, because I've seen a lot of machinery people deal with. Um, our aim is to obviously uh, grow the market for uh, aluminium products. Um, we've got a, a number of major initiatives, uh, or had a number of major initiatives over the last five years, especially, uh, which have helped double the membership. Um, and as Marcia was saying, um, similar to wooden plastic, uh, we've had uh, some major work on sustainability with the BRE, moving aluminium from uh, B to a D uh, to actually having a position where you can get a commercial aluminium window. We also obviously work very closely with uh, Europe um, and we're also looking to be very um, involved with the whole supply chain and that's contractors, clients, specifiers and actually linking them in with our members and that's one of our biggest successes. Thank you.